It's car con carne. Let's eat in the car. It's car con carne. Dude. Yeah, I felt like a man. <laughs> I felt like a real iron. Well, wolf. if you felt like a man, then just you wait. <laughs> <laughs> just you wait. <laughs> and that is to say, welcome to Carcon Carne. I'm James Van Osel. Carcon Carne is a Q and a one podcast, and Carcon Carne is brought to you by Easy Automation. Easy Dash Automation dot net. A smart home connects virtually all the technology in your home. With an easy automation installed smart home system, you and your family can control nearly every device and system in the house in ways that are easy and, yes, 8-bit creeps, fun to use. Transform your, <laughs> transform your living space with cutting-edge home automation. Experience seamless control over audio, video, lighting, climate, security, and more. Embrace the future of smart living. Your home, your rules, motherfucker. Get a quote by visiting easy-automation.net or call my guy Dan. My guy Dan can be reached directly. This is his personal cell phone, 630-730-3728. And for the Beverly natives in the car, 3728 is more appropriate. Uh, so here we are. We're in the parking lot of Cobra Lounge. Shake your cage. Break your chains, you destructive little animals. It's 8-Bit Creeps Ooh. joining us. Deep cut. Deep, well, it wasn't deep cut in I the beginning. So. Now, at this point, I guess it's a deep cut. <laughs> that, that was a calling card at one point, but I guess now it's a deep cut. <laughs> you know, it's a deep cut. We have a Beverly native in this car right now. Yes. Well, I think that was planned. That, that was planned. <laughs> yeah. That was planned. Uh, okay, so 8 Bit Creeps, we have never done this in person. The last time we spoke, uh, it was peak COVID times. We did this <coughs> over Zoom, which. If I have to do another Zoom meeting any time oh, in the next 10 years, it'll be too soon. Yeah. yeah. I, I have PTSD from doing nightly Zoom calls because I couldn't see people in person. Yeah. <laughs> so th- th- this is long overdue. And, uh, you know, I think it was just under four years ago. Like, Yeah. I mean, maybe. the timing, like, we're almost four years to the week. It was, yeah, peak, peak. Wow. Yeah. Lockdown, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, so the reason why we're sitting in Cobra Lounge's parking lot. Uh, you we got know, kicked out. We got kicked out. Because of James. A few too many rain and bloods. Uh, you, 8-Bit Creeps, opening up for Ultimate Fake Book and Hembry at Cobra Lounge on Saturday the 17th. Nice show for you guys to be on yeah. on a Saturday night. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we're excited about that. Yeah. Very excited. Now, we are... Cobra has a great menu. Chef, Chef Jason Gilmore is fantastic. That said, we're not eating in the car for this one. We don't have... We, we did, I didn't plan ahead too much. But you guys planned for me. You, you said, you know what? You haven't figured out the food thing. We got your back. You brought macarons. We you, sure you did. Brought, you brought... BYOF. You brought your own food for Carcon <laughs> Carne. Uh, so wh- what are we doing here? What, what? So these are probably the best macarons in the, in the city. This is uh, offbeat macarons and sweets. Um... You know they're great. You know there are a lot of farmers market in uh, Chicago over at Andersonville, Lincoln uh, Square. We thought it'd be a nice little sweet treat. You know who doesn't love show. a macaron? I know, right? And this is our drummer's company. Who's not here? And, and your drummer's name? Andy. And his well, it's it's his wife, Wait, Katie. And, is Andy and the same Andy as Reasonable Andy? He is Reasonable Andy. He's Sometimes, a, yeah, he's a lot of Andys. He's just Andy. Just Andy. Uh, sometimes he's Randy. Unpredictable, Andy. Joseph yeah. Chartuligan. Okay. Yeah. All right, so this is a key lime. That's a key lime that you have. Delicious. All right, anyone want a key lime? Uh, Mick Not wants right. a pecan Not pie. Right now. That's That one's a stunner. I'm going to have Some one would of say these the number one strawberry stunner. ones back here. Mick, here you go. Here's a pecan pie. Uh, thanks to Reasonable yeah. Andy for providing food. <laughs> 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 Very reasonable of him. Right. I'm going to have the Lavender Earl Grey. Mm. Very distinguished. It was great. Yeah, they started off mm. in their home, and now they're, I think, renting a kitchen and working out there. So it's it's a, it's a pretty. I could new eat like a whole arm, arm's length of these. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was over at Andy's house, and Katie's wife was making these just before they had started the business. Mm. Katie's wife. Katie's wife. Or Andy's wife. Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah. There's no THC. But. Uh, they blew my mind when I first had them. Oh, this is the key oh, get this one on camera. Look at this. What do you got? Hang on. Yeah, we got a little, little psychedelic. Whoa! Swirl. Ooh. Wait, which one's that? That's a strawberry one. 
Uh, bonus points for presentation on that one. Yeah. That, that's really well done. And <laughs> you, all right, what, what do you have, Mick? I have the pecan pie. But I was saving them for later. So oh, <laughs> no, you got it. He doesn't like to eat on camera. Uh, no one does. I found that out. <laughs> My most recent guest <laughs> kept a hot dog and condiment container on their lap through the entire interview, and I realized by the time we got done, <laughs> you didn't touch your food. <laughs> <laughs> I got over that a long time ago. As I'm approaching episode 1,000, like, all bets Whoa. are off. I just don't care. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it's going to be what it's going to be. I can't help it. Food flying out. <laughs> so in addition to playing Cobra Lounge on Saturday the 17th, uh, new music is on the way. Uh, but I guess before we get into that, we should describe 8-Bit Creeps. The hardest thing about doing a podcast where you can't play music is having to describe music. It's really hard. Like, I want people to know what you sound like. I want people to know what my guests sound like. But you can't play music on a podcast. So uh, I'm left with your description. A psych wave quartet and a polygamist marriage with new wave synths, fuzzed out guitars and big beats, new sounds from old circuits for your daily bread and circus. Yeah, I mean, sold. That, that does it for me. That's... <laughs> That's the elevator pitch. Uh, but new, new new album on the way. When is it? What is it? We're hoping maybe the winter. Okay. Maybe winter, early spring. Cause it's kind like of in the mixing stage right now. 8-Bit Creeps keeps up a pretty good clip of putting out or writing songs and doing stuff. The best we can with with uh, full-time jobs and commitments. The single is out right now, though. We do have a single out, Artificial. Um, you can get it on Bandcamp. Artificial. Yeah. Artificial. Uh, this is yeah. the song that Devo has wanted to write for the past 35 years. Oh, we love Devo. <laughs> that. Of course That's you do. I know you do. <laughs> we love yeah. Devo. Um, yeah, for sure. Uh, love the synths and the keys on this. Ginger. Thank you. That's this yeah. guy right here. Well done. Uh, that lyrically. Was, uh, that was his, uh, yeah. his, his riff to begin with. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, it started as a kind of a post-COVID riff because I'd bought some software again. Because I was locked in forever, right? Mm-hmm. And then, uh, Windows 95. Windows 95 <laughs> machine, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, and then, uh, yeah, some of the idea, but the song didn't really evolve to the song without everybody's input, to be honest. But, I mean, that's some of our songs start like that, where it's just like just a little, you know, something catchy, and then we just kind of riff on it, and boom. Yeah. I think my cheap camera already turned off. Uh, uh, Where'd you get from? Camera. Temu? <laughs> That's uh, my most basically, it, it's like a, a Timu camera that I got on Amazon. I thought, well, you know, <laughs> getting another Mevo is really fucking expensive. Who has another two hundred fifty, three hundred dollars for yeah. a camera? I'll just see if what a fifty dollar camera can do. Well, it can shut down two minutes into recording. That's what it can do. <laughs> they have a good return oh, policy. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they too. Yeah. <laughs> you know, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Yeah. <laughs> right. Got to try it. Uh, lyrically, I as we talk about artificial, a little hard to pin down. Conspiracy theory, <laughs> waiting for the sweet release of death. Lizard people. Processed food sucks. Where where are we going with this one? Yeah, I think I think you're you're in the ballpark. <laughs> Do you like um, being mysterious? I mean, there's I guess there's vague themes on the album of uh, of of categories like that, but yeah, just the kind of um, I don't know from from the content we are uh, taking into the food we eat. There's a little artificial taste to everything right now. Although not in these macarons we just enjoyed. No, 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 no. these are all natural. These are delicious. Yeah. In the night, a little taste for me. Take a treat from them from in the cupboard, <laughs> but they all taste quite artificial. <laughs> <laughs> that could be almost like when you got the munchies or something. It could be. It could. Oh, <laughs> there it is. There it is. Uh, again, Saturday the seventeenth, opening for Ultimate Fake Book and Hembry at Cobra Lounge. You've been putting out music going on ten years. Yeah. Oh, damn, yeah. Do you want to take a step back and give the 8-Bit Creeps origin story? Ooh. Ooh. And no is a perfectly fine answer. I, I mean, no, I mean, <laughs> there's, there's a dramatic a, pause there. There's a, you know, pretty much the three of us in the car right now, we're in a band called the Van Goghs, and that band was kind of around from like 09 to tw- the end of 2015, and when that band was kind of dissolving for various reasons, we wanted to carry the torch to uh, a new direction, and... Um, Ape It Creeps came about and that was an idea Mick had with the band name and um, we just started um, doing it continuing playing music because that's our passion yeah we found Andy online yeah we found him on Craigslist good old Craigslist <laughs> true did you have to barter for him um <laughs> I, think it was like, like, I, I know you're it, asking five dollars but we're I not legally allowed to say but what it all oh. came down to you but it was uh, yeah, a little oh thank you 
Not much. He was cheap. Yeah, I mean, it was <laughs> it was a steal. <laughs> yeah. See, I want you guys to get to the point, get get to that level of success, where you have fans who are so fanatical they get angry at other fans who don't spell your name correctly yeah. with the capitalizations. Has Ooh. that already happened? I mean, no, but it, it's exciting to think that that could ever happen. <laughs> I want, I want to see that level of fanaticism. <laughs> I get more pissed off if people don't put the dash more than the capital E. I mean, In between 8 and bit? Yeah. You, you, we rarely you get didn't the make it uh, easy for us. E's. You didn't make it easy for us, fans. <laughs> yeah. As long as they like the music, I don't care how they That's spell right. it. Yeah. Uh, and we, since last we spoke, Dress for the Future was yeah. a thing. Uh, I love Amateur Psychiatrist. I, I just want to feel something good. I, it's, I, I, I love... Your sound, 8-Bit Creeps. Oh, thank you. But one uh-huh. of the things you did, last time we talked, you had a handful of new songs. I, I talked about Close Your Eyes, which I, th- I still think is a perfect song. Um, you reworked the song Wait. Recently. Yeah. Tell that, me about that. Um, I mean, that really came out of uh, this local filmmaker, um, David Holcomb. He, it was, what was this, maybe... Remember that? A couple of years ago, wasn't it? Or yeah, it was a couple of right, years sure. ago. He's part of a, a a film group called Soft Cage Films, and um, he pitched us playing at a like a gala they were having, and this was right around like 2020, and that fell apart because of COVID. So yeah. we didn't end up playing the gala or anything. Just kind of moved on from that. Didn't happen. And then he was like, you know, I, I still really like that song. I'd like to do a video for it. And we we're like, like that one that, you know, just that little. That was a COVID year. Yeah, that yeah. was. Yeah. Like, like, yeah. <laughs> we don't ever play that song live. Like, it was just kind of a thing we did, sending files back and forth mm-hmm. from our house while we were stuck inside. And, um, but Hope yeah, he, <laughs> he, he was like, yeah, I want to do, like, he had a vision for it. He wanted to do this interpretive dance thing. We're like, all right, like. You know, we really had very little input as far as what the actual video was, but uh, beautiful but yeah. video too. And yeah. they filmed it at Rogers Park, right at the beach there. Yeah, one of the I think that was the beach up hidden there. gem of Chicago, one of the best beaches. It really in is. City. Yeah. Loyola Beach or something. I live like two blocks away from there, and it's. You used to live up by Pratt and Sheridan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm at, Yeah, I'm not going to reveal where I live now, but I live near. <laughs> well, we're going there after this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. If you can um, give me a ride home, <laughs> Nick, you remixed that too. The way. Right. Yeah, the, the original one was like maybe the first thing I ever tried mixing on my own. I was just in GarageBand and uh, I hate GarageBand. Are you good at it? I've tried. Maybe a little better, okay. but not, yeah. But I wasn't completely happy with the original mix, and I was like, "All right, if you're making that video, at least I'd like to clean it up a little bit." Yeah, it sounded great. So I'm tearing into a vanilla bean macaron right now from Offbeat. Is macaron someone going to have the other key lime? Um, you are. I, I mean, I'm Talk not going to stand on ceremony bone. for too much longer. No, you you have it. You you sounded like you were a key lime fan. I I love a good key and, lime. Uh, I am a key lime enthusiast. Then you should have them both. Thank you. Best macaroons ever. Macarons. Excuse me. Macarons. <laughs> we all do it. I was Macaron. Called, I spelled it macaroon earlier. The Simpsons get a lot of credit for predicting the future. And when last we talked, mm-hmm. it, it it's more insane. <laughs> over time how my young shadow came out in the in the era of covid written before covid if the news if the new disease should claim me <laughs> you're like the simpsons <laughs> i like that as long as it's before like season 9 <laughs> yeah right <laughs> pop culture anticipating the the state of the universe mm. that that's your that's your thing so i cannot wait to see what new music is on the way just to know what's going on. Well, you know, mix a bit of a Nostradamus, mm-hmm. <laughs> a soothsayer, a visionary. Yeah. Do we do we have an album name yet? Yeah, I think That's we're yeah. gonna go with uh, "Sunset from the Shallows," which is mysterious. A little bit. If you if you call his nine hundred number, he'll. <laughs> The first minutes, five minutes are free. Then it's five dollars an additional minute. He'll tell you what your future is. He strings you along for the first couple Mm -hmm. minutes. Yeah, always. All right. So if you do happen to see this or watch this before Saturday the seventeenth, you can see Eight Bit Creeps opening up at Cobra for um, Ultimate Fake Book and Hembry, and then I'm sure we'll see more. I know you're playing in Iowa in a couple weeks. Yeah, Raccoon Motel. I was telling Nick before we started recording. 
I don't know how familiar familiar you are with I-80, and I don't even know if it's on the way to where you're going, but the world's largest truck stop is on I-80. Just past Davenport. Very familiar with it. I grew up He's in from the Iowa. area. No, I'm from Illinois. It's magnificent. <laughs> it's it's like food court, shopping mall. You can yeah. get a haircut, buy a guitar. Climb into a truck. Yeah, have have buffet food. How close is this to the Geneseo Historical Museum? Because that's <laughs> yeah. a big stop out there. That is probably one of the most legendary stops out there. Um, yeah, Geneseo Historical Museum is up there, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> I think the IA truck stop's a little better. I, I, I'm a sucker for that stuff. I, you know, I went there. Next thing you know, I'm buying the T-shirt. I, I've got you know fudge. I, I'm, I'm all in for places Ooh, like that. Yeah. Yeah, but I feel like if I see a T-shirt, it's always everybody wearing these Bucky shirts now. You know, like Bucky's. Oh yeah. yeah everybody's got the Bucky shirts, and they're cool, but they're gonna kill Bucky's if they everybody's wearing them. You know, it's like too Bucky's much. is the one place that has the, like the jerky section, right? They're known for the jerky or something. Yeah, they're, they're mostly down south. Nothing beats the Casey's. Is it Texas? The Casey's. Casey's in a lot of them in Wisconsin. Yeah, uh, there are a lot of them in suburban Illinois. But I yeah. get to go into one that sells the pizza that everyone talks about. I've been to oh, one. They should yeah. all have the pizza. It is yeah. pretty decent. And then their breakfast pizza. Eight bit creeps. Thank you for doing this. Now here's I, I, I want to make a covenant with eight bit creeps oh. tonight. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Do we have to like cut our hands and? You do. We're going to okay. turn the lights off for that. All right. Um, <laughs> we're going to be shrouded in darkness and secrecy. No, I, when you guys have this full body of new music finished, come back. We'll, we'll, we'll actually have a meal and maybe macarons for dessert. All but right. but let's, let's do this again so we can talk at length about the new stuff. Absolutely. Love it. Definitely. Thank you. Love to. The, the covenant has been made. It has been sealed, uh, as it has been foretold, I'm sure, in a previous 8-Bit Creep song. Uh, thanks, guys. Thank, Thank you. you.